Hello Taurus. Thank you guys for tuning in to your singles love reading. It's going to be for Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You can also check your North Node and your Jupiter. So, um, I want to try something a little different today with you guys. Um, as far as getting some new energy because a lot of people are getting like past energy. Um, so we're going to see if the singles can get some type of new new. Now we'll see because you know spirit be having something else in mind, and if that's what I'll if that's what I see, that's what I'll you know let you guys know. But uh, when I did my meditation and the cleansing and things of the cards, I did ask to um, have some new energy because um, I know a lot of y'all are like I don't want no past person, which I get because I am in the same boat. Okay. <laughs> So let's get started. Spirit, give me some new love energy for Taurus singles. Spirit, give me some new love energy for Taurus singles. Okay, there we go. All right, so we got the Knight of Cups. Okay, so, so far I like where this is going, but you never know. <laughs> All right, Spirit, give me some new love energy for Taurus singles. Spirit, give me some new love energy for Taurus singles. All right, so we got the Seven of Cups. Spirit, give me some new love energy for Taurus singles. Okay, we got the Two of Cups and the High Priestess. And keep in mind, guys, this won't resonate with every single Taurus that watches. Okay, I always forget to say that. We got the Hierophant. This is you guys. All right. So I feel like some of you guys are looking for love. Oh, okay. <sighs> Let's see what come out. Mm. Okay, so we got this Nine of Swords. Here, we got the world, we got the hanged man, we got the ace of swords, okay, we got the lovers, oh yes, and we got the sun, all right, so far I'm, I'm liking this a lot, there is a lot of love here like wow 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 okay <laughs> so i'm feeling like some of you guys have definitely closed out a cycle you guys have closed out this nine of swords energy with the world here you have completed a cycle of some sort and you're pretty much opening yourself up to love yeah you got the sun here, which is which is the happiest card in the deck. The most positive card in the, in the deck. Um, which people say that the sun is the, the most positive card. But I think there's a lot of them that are um, like really great in love readings. Oh my goodness. Taurus, 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 Taurus. I love every single second of this. Okay, so I'm feeling like y'all got options. Either you have options now. Or you will have options. Okay? With the Hierophant here and the Lovers here, you guys definitely want marriage. Like, that's that's y'all's goal. Y'all's goal is to get married. Y'all have the Hierophant, the Lovers, and the Two of Cups. Like, come on now. You can't make this up. You have the World here, which is completion. And I put the, the Nine of Swords next to the World. So, usually I just intuitively just set the cards down and where they land is where they land sometimes i'll switch them up it just depends but i put the world here with the nine of uh the nine of swords so see how she's all sad and depressed and all these other things i think you guys are coming out of that y'all have completed that cycle whatever that was uh that was causing y'all grief and stress um y'all are coming out of that y'all are in this high priestess energy so, I'm feeling like you guys have options with the Seven of Cups. Y'all have options. 
And a lot of people are kind of seeing y'all in this high priestess energy as far as like unattainable. Like you're not going to settle for anything less than what you want, period, point blank. And you're, you're, you're willing to wait for what you want. But you guys are getting love offers. And if you're not now, you will be. Okay? So I pulled the Six of Pentacles. <laughs> yeah. I love it. So some of you guys might start dating again. Might start going out on dates. Having people treating you to um, nice dinners and things like that. And it's, oh, it is Taurus season too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. And then you have the Ace of Pentacles. Listen. You guys, some of you guys are about to get an offer. Yep. Some of you guys are about to get some type of offer, whether it's a date. It's going to be different for some of you. Whether it's a date, um, if you guys are, you know, kind of seeing someone, you, you know, chatting online to someone. Um, yeah, they're going to ask you out on a date. Might be a Leo, might be another earth sign like you. Um, might be a water sign. You have a lot of water here. Might be a Gemini. Um, yeah. So you guys are definitely, uh, going to have someone that, that wants to come in and offer you something, offer you some type of love, some type of date. Oh gosh. I love this energy a lot, but you guys have come out of this anxiety energy. Cause I think a lot of you guys may have been under this, um, strange anxiety uh strange depression with um with something that happened before you know you were single so i'm trying not to do too much past energy then you got oh yes the magician yeah okay you some of you guys are definitely dealing with a gemini and then you have or virgo and then you have the nine of pentacles yeah so i feel like a lot of you guys are just focused on your money have been focused on your money um, whenever you were in this Nine of Swords energy. You were just pretty much work, finish it, working on, ugh, if I can get my words out. You were pretty much just working on building something of, of value. Stacking your coins and all of that. And it's very possible, though, that while you're working or while you're focusing on something else, that somebody else is going to come in or some more options are going to come in. But you guys definitely are um, thinking positively about your love life, and you weren't before. You're coming out of this this negative um, this negative energy that you have about yourself, about love in general. And I think marriage is definitely the goal. And whoever you deal with, or whoever you choose, is going to lead to marriage. Yeah, you just have too many. You have the Hierophant, the Lovers, the uh, the Two of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles. Whoever you choose, this is going to be someone that is going to lead to something long term or is going to lead to marriage. Okay. Now, let's post some love article. I love when the message is straight to the point. Okay. That's what I love. But I feel like right now, you guys, a lot of you guys are just like chilling. Like a lot of you guys with this high priestess here and this nine of pentacles. I feel like some some options, some of your options options might see you as unattainable. Like you are really just like on your shit. And they see you as unattainable. They see you as someone that is um why did I just lose train of thought? <laughs> Does some of y'all just lose train of thought or is some of y'all multitask and I'm picking up on somebody's energy? But, yeah, they see you as someone that's, like, really just a boss. Like, you just kind of in your own little world, just focusing on yourself, focusing on your healing. Um, and, okay, so let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Of course, yeah, that's kind of what I've been saying. While you, while, you in, while you working and you worrying about yourself and you being a fine-ass tourist, you know, that's when all these options are going to start seeing, okay, check Taurus out. Let me see what Taurus is talking about. You know what I'm saying? But I, I think that you pretty much just retreated from love and just start focusing on yourself, which is fine. It's it's fine. Like, you know, you have, you have definitely, uh, you have a lot of mental clarity too about what you want. A lot of you come to the conclusion that, um, 
you want marriage and you're and you're now you want to start dating for marriage you're not you're not no longer dating just just to have fun and to do all these different things like you're you're dating with a purpose now okay um yeah but you guys definitely have someone coming in oh god what did i tell y'all didn't i say the next person that you end up with one of these options that you come in that that you come in that comes in is going to be your person now look at the cards that flipped over you got chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You got honeymoon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Enjoy the bliss of holiday of holiday time together, which, you know, these cards have such strange sayings on them. But honeymoon, what did I tell you? And you have, this could be the one. What I tell you, you have already met the romantic partner that you see. Now, the, the the whole romance the whole you've already met them i feel like this is someone that you're probably you probably know that you work with or you know that's money related i don't feel like this is someone that you dated before i'm not seeing any of that here now it could be okay because spirit is always trying to slip in trying to ease on in some past people even when you ask for some new new energy okay um, they always try to glide on in with some type of uh, somebody from the past. And, you know, I'm always going to be 100% honest with you guys about what I see. So, um, I for me, I'm just going to cro completely cross out this, cross out, cross out this person that, uh, cross that out. But Spirit is kind of telling me that you, some of you might know this person. Okay. So, but I don't feel like it's someone that you've dated before or anything like that. But Spirit is saying that you know this person, okay? So, yeah, Taurus, I, I love it when it's straight to the point. I'm dropping cards all over the place. That's how much energy I'm seeing here. Like, it's going to be, the energy is going to be amazing. All right? So, yeah, so that's our reason reading, Taurus, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, yeah, hit that like, hit that sub if it resonated with you. And until next time, guys, peace out.